Hello everyone, my name's Gemma and this is The Daily Thread. Thanks for joining me today. Um, I'm sort of back with like a makes video. There is more than one, believe it or not, because <laughs> I'm a bit of a terror for only showing you one make, but I actually have three. And I'll start straight away with what I'm wearing because this is literally hot off the sewing machine. So this is the um, LB uh, Pullover by Paper Theory Patterns. And I have made it in like a quilted, it's not a jersey, even though it's got a little bit of stretch. I think it's like a quilted cotton fabric, but it's quite lightweight um but still you know relatively snuggly um i made the higher collar version because i just thought it'd be really nice in this fabric as you can see it's got a dropped sleeve and like i showed you it sort of comes up to about hip length on me um yeah i didn't alter the length on this one i made a size 12 um and i've just got the measurements here actually but my body measurements probably fell in more like a, a 14 even like between a 14 and a 16 on the hip but the finished measurements have quite a lot of ease um let's see about eight oh crikey is it eight inches that's quite a lot isn't it so yes, I made the size 12 and I think I've got plenty of room. I don't like things too big because I just feel like they drown you a little bit, but this is sort of snugly enough to wear a little bit oversized. Um, yeah, I think that's the perfect size. It does come with a smaller collar piece, so probably about, you know, half the size. Um, but it's quite a versatile pattern, I think, because you can make it in knits or wovens. And I think this technically classes as a woven, even though it's got a little bit of like mechanical stretch, which means the fabric naturally stretches. Um, so it does tell you to cut the neckband on the bias if you're using a woven fabric and it just gives you a little bit more room, I think. Um, this fabric is from Felicity Fabrics. I think they've still got some available, so I will link it down below if they have. But yeah, I'm, I'm overall really pleased with this. And considering how slow I sew, I've made this this morning. So in like three hours from cutting out to finishing it. And that's saying something for me. <laughs> I get very easily distracted. You know, when I'm watching vlogs and things while I'm sewing or I just think of something and then I've immediately got to Google it. Um, but yeah, so I did that this morning and I'm really chuffed because it's another fabric that's not sitting in my stash. Um, it is quite a relatively new purchase. I don't think I showed this to you uh, recently. Um so yeah, it's sort of come come into the stash and straight out. So that's nice because I have quite a few bits that sit there for a while. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing and the first make. So another make that is very recent actually this week is this one. It's another knit pattern and I sort of thought I need a couple of knit patterns to have like quick wins. Do you ever feel like that? You know, when you do quite a lot of woven garments and they do take up a lot of time. I like to do a few knit things because you feel like it's a bit of a, a winner. Um, so this is the Swim Style Creations or Swim Style Patterns Billow Sleeve Knit Top. And it's made in like a quite a lightweight French terry. It's quite drapey. Now you can see it is um, a drop shoulder again um, with a bit of gathering here and an elasticated cuff. So I can't really show it to you Mongo. There we go. Um, and it comes in 
two lengths, so there is quite a crop length and uh, a long length. I went for somewhere in between and, you know, going on the in-between length, I think the cropped one would be pretty short. Again, you can make it in a variety of fabrics, um, obviously knit fabrics, so, but anything from like heavier sweatshirt into like lightweight cotton jersey or anything drapey. Um, yeah, and I think the one that really drew it, drew me to the pattern was one in a more heavier weight fabric. Um, I'll try and pop in the picture of it because it's sort of like this actually, a bit chunkier, but it was in the crop length and in like a white and it just looked so nice. So at some point I might make the cropped one um, in a he heavier weight fabric because it will just sit nicely on the waist. Um, I put a little Rosie Cheeks label in this one, um, made in me time. And what size did I go for? The large. Um, oh, I'm not very well prepared with this one. I'd have to check back on the measurements, but I think it's not super inclusive and I will correct myself if I'm wrong with that, but I made the size large and I think that's a pretty good fit for me. Um, I don't know if this grey does anything for me, to be honest. I feel like when I just took a few pictures of it, it washes me out a bit, but it will be a nice top to wear sort of around the house and things. And I just liked that it was a bit different with the gathering and the elasticated sleeve. So I think I'll make it again, just maybe in a colour that complements my skin a little bit more, but I'm chuffed with it anyway. And again, another fabric out of my stash which is always good um yeah i'll put the details of the pattern and the measurements in the uh description down below i'm really sorry i should have had that information to hand but it's not written on the pattern just there so yeah i'll do that for you make is this lovely dress um, which is the Veronica Tucker, the label hazel dress. Now I've made it in this gorgeous pine green viscose jacquard fabric. And as you can see, there's like a floral design all the way through it, which just gives it an extra element of detail and interest. Now this takes a lot of fabric. <laughs> As you can see, there's an awful lot of gathering. Um, but I love Veronica Tucker's uh, sort of details. So she always does a lined yoke. So that is, this is double layer and it feels lovely and, and thick. Well, not, not thick, but do you know what I mean? Weighty and, and nice. Um, it's got a tie to give it a little keyhole detail and obviously you just pop it over your head and then you've got an elasticated um, cuff on the sleeve you've got one two three gathered tears um yeah so it's super swishy <laughs> um i think it does come up quite short and I, I did know that so I didn't I didn't do anything about the length um I'm around five foot six um but I think if you were any taller and you don't like a sort of mini mini dress you definitely have to lengthen it but obviously take into account the tiers so you'd have to lengthen each of those to make them look you know in proportion um, you can't really see, but it's, it is just above my knee and I will put, um, some pictures in so you can see a bit better. Um, but yeah, because of the amount of fabric, it's super swishy. So you just feel like spinning all the time. <laughs> uh, 
um, it also does make the dress quite heavy actually and I don't know if it's because of that that I feel like it slips off my shoulder a little bit or whether it's it's my shoulders and they're you know sloped because I think I do have a bit of a forward shoulder I finished it off with a little label from uh, I think it's from a past Kylie and the machine advent calendar and it says party dress so as always I was gonna make this for Christmas and I never have enough time around Christmas because I'm just trying to do too much but that was the plan and I think the colour would have been a perfect Christmas colour but I love it anyway I think well anything green I love um, and I'll wear this you know at other times other than Christmas which is, is nice you need to have a, a dress that's versatile so yeah I'm really pleased with it it's probably a little bit different to anything I've worn before and if you do follow me on Instagram I sort of styled it with um, a little like knitted vest over the top and I think it worked really well so that's quite a nice way to wear it at this time of year um but yeah like I say I'll pop in some pictures if I haven't done that already um so you can see a bit better about how it wears um, that one comes in sizes 6 to 22, um, which is quite inclusive. Obviously, it could be a little bit better. And I think, like I say, it is fabric hungry. So I reckon that used nearly four metres of fabric. Um, luckily, I had that in my stash from a while ago and it was... Uh, a bit of a bargain to be honest it's from system in Taka, and i think it's like an ex designer viscose jacquard but there was some like fault with it either in the printing or um yeah like a fault running through it so i definitely got a bargain there because i know four meters is, is quite a lot really isn't it but I'm really chuffed with it and it's a lovely dress to have in my wardrobe. So let me know what you think of it. Is it something that you would try? What do you think of the colour? Um, yeah, just let me know what you think. I haven't been buying an awful lot recently. I'm trying to be good. Um, I'm going to the Stitch Festival in March, which is in London. And yeah i'm trying not to buy too much till then so i can you know have a look around and see if anything takes my fancy and not feel too guilty about it but i did buy one fabric recently um and it's from bornella fabrics and it's this gorgeous um viscose rib knit and it's like double brushed so it's super soft and cozy um i've got two meters because i'd really like to make the nico dress so again you know with like the funnel neck collar but like the long the long dress with the split and i just think that would look so cool with tights and boots i'm hoping this sort of creamy color suits me and doesn't wash me out too much obviously with white that can that can really wash you out can't it but I'm hoping I can pull this one off what my plan is because the Nico dress is quite clingy and I don't really want it to be super clingy I want it to skim um, is I'm obviously going to check the sizing. I might even size up one size so that it does just skim over. Um, and then to wear like a waistcoat over the top just so I don't feel conscious about my tummy area um, or wearing quite a, a clingy dress, if that makes sense. But I've got I showed you this Liberty, didn't I? This Liberty cotton that I got a while ago and it was in my autumn winter plans to make this into the new craft house everyday waistcoat. So I just thought, 
if I could wear that over the top, it might not even be this side of it. I'm thinking I need a denim waistcoat really, and that would go with everything. But yeah, the rib knit with a little waistcoat over the top, whether it's in a sort of denim-y colour or this floral, hopefully that'll be quite nice, but <laughs> let me know what you think, because I'd love to hear any suggestions. Um, you know, whether I make one in this and a separate denim one, um, let me know what you think, or whether I should just do it reversible. Um, so I'm just making the one. I don't know. <laughs> but that's definitely on my upcoming to make plans. Um, I just think it would be lovely for this time of year, like a casual but smart um, knit dress. So yeah, that's the plan. But I couldn't resist that. I kept seeing it. I kept seeing it in various places. And I think there was a couple of colours, so black and the cream but I don't wear black I think it's just too harsh on me really I much prefer navy um so yeah I went for the cream and we will see what it turns out like I've not had a lot of luck with rib knit fabrics in the past but they've been more of a cotton base so I've just felt like they've really stretched out and I hated them so it was a real shame because I got a couple in really nice colours, um, a pink and like a, a mint green. But I just couldn't wear them because they'd either stretch out during the sewing process and that's my fault as much as anything. But I'm, I'm just not sure that the cotton rib knit is or has enough recovery for me. So hopefully the viscose one will just be nicer and a bit more drapey. And yeah, turn out good. And if it does, I'll show you. If it doesn't, you won't be seeing it. <laughs> um, so at the moment, I am still plodding away on my like uh, Friday Pattern Company Ilford. To be honest, I've not done a lot since you last saw it. It's It's the bias binding really and working out how to do it when I do the flat seams like that. I'm just not sure about the one around the armhole. So I just decided to do a couple of quick projects instead. But I do need to get that done. And I'm still working on a, uh, oh, a Donny shirt from ages ago in this really lightweight viscose from Minerva. Now I can tell you really that I'm not loving it. It's so lightweight and I don't love the interfacing that I used on the collar. I touched it with the iron the other day and it was probably a bit hot so it's gotten wrinkly. Ugh. You know one of those projects that you just need to get done but you don't want to get done? It's currently one of those and I might be able to salvage it, but I just keep putting it to one side and it's hard work, <laughs> but I do need to do it. So I'll, I'll try and see what I can do with that. I've got to try and uh, rectify it a little bit, but I just feel like there's a lot that's not going well. Um, yeah, I don't think it's the Donny shirt. I think it's the fabric. I would definitely try and make the Donny shirt again in a slightly more stable fabric. I just think because that's so thin, you see every little mistake and I don't, I'm not perfect. I don't sew perfectly. So I just think everything's super visible, but I will keep trying. It might just be a little bit here and there to make it manageable, but <laughs> I'll let you know once I've done it. Um, and I think that's all I've got to tell you at the moment. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing some of my latest makes. Um, a couple of quick ones there, but I hope you liked my hazel dress as well. I love it when you comment, so please do leave me a comment down below. 
and yeah let me know what you're sewing as well i love to hear people's plans and i will be back with you again soon thanks for watching take care bye